Welcome to another self-service video. In this video, we will discuss the details of this newly released feature. We will look at what uh, complex uh, services uh, quickly, and then we will talk in more detail about the simple services. Uh, note uh, that you may hear other terms such as lean services is how it's called in SAP ERP. So there may be other terms uh, to describe this simple service. Um, th this is the parameter to turn it on, um, application.procure.enable simple services. We will demo uh, the creation of such a requisition that will yield uh, a service order of type simple service. We will examine this purchase order and look at it from the supplier point of view, um, and then talk about the, some of the configuration options when you do the service entry sheet and the invoice, um, if you elect to do a service entry sheet. So uh, some of the key highlights um, from the release notes is that uh, a simple service is basically a one level definition of a service item. Uh, so, so where complex service is you're creating a hierarchy, parent and children, uh, the children uh, known as um, planned line items. So, so this complexity has, uh, we're trying to move away um, in, in, a, in, a, in a simple service configuration so that you could just create a, a requisition line for a service, um, consulting work phase one, $25,000 and send it out. Um, and then you can, you can set up the configuration so that um, you don't need uh, to create service uh, entry sheet, for example. You could just have the supplier send you the invoice directly against it. Uh, some of the nice features as well is being able to just flip that line uh, on a simple service uh, order uh, and flip it and then be able to invoice against it. In a complex service scenario, um, th there's more work uh, that needs to be taken in order to flip um, you know, the parent line and then, and then add unplanned lines and so on. There, there's more work to be done. Um, uh, this can be used with or without guided buying. So it can be in guided buying or legacy uh, uh, UI. Um, you, you can create, again, you can create the service requisition or the order without any adding children items. Um, keep in mind that when you turn this feature on um, in the realm, it's going to be either a simple service or a complex service. Um, I don't think you can have both a simple and complex in the same realm. It's all or nothing. So creating a, a simple service requisition is straightforward, uh, similar to how you create any other requisition. Um, you just want to make sure that the line item that you add is of type service. I can add an item from a catalog or non-catalog. Again, the key is to make sure that it's a, a of type service. So here, um, either the commodity can default the item category to be of service, or I can flip it uh, myself. If you don't have an SAP realm, um, you'll see uh, is service, yes or no, and then be able to just click yes or no on it. If if this is this item category service is, is, is marked as service, then you'll see these four fields. I can change quantity and other items, pick the vendor and so on, and then this will be complete. Add to cart. And then um, verify that all the fields are complete and then be able to just go ahead and click on submit and that will generate the service order. The supplier received the order via the Ariba network uh, by an email. Uh, this was a standard account supplier on the order. Uh, so from the supplier perspective, they can click on the process order button um, and then this will open up the order on the Ariba network for them to continue with the next step. On the Ariba network, uh, the, the order uh, has the uh, buttons uh, depending on the configuration of the buyer account. Uh, so, so this buyer uh, has allowed creating service sheet. This, uh, this buyer has also allowed creating an invoice uh, without creating the service sheet first, but also went out and uh, did an extra step and basically saying that when I create a standard invoice, I'm going to do an auto gen service entry sheet. So notice now that we'll receive a warning letting the supplier know that uh, this invoice will automatically generate a service entry sheet. Um, this is what we call an auto gen, automatically generate a service entry sheet. Uh, and then basically uh, just click on the X. So now uh, when, when the supplier fills in the invoice, uh, an SES will automatically be created and sent for approval. Uh, once it's approved, then the invoice will be released. So in this video, we talked about what is a simple service, this new feature that just came out in November of 2019, compared it to a complex service. We showed the parameter uh, th that activates it uh, to discuss the details of the simple service and what are some of the configuration options and what it allows you to do once you turn it on. 
Um, and then we looked at creating a requisition. We looked at the order. Um, and we showed from the supplier perspective what it looks like on the network and some of the different configuration options uh, to allow a service entry sheet or skip it or just do an invoice or do an auto gen from an invoice, all these different options that the buyer uh, will set up to control what the supplier can do. Please reach out to your customer engagement executive or Ariba support for any further actions. Thank you.